going by himself. If I had the steering wheel on there, he could drive. I'm off with it inverted right now, but I've got the power wheels drive train mounted on the bottom of a Harbor Freight. This is actually a uh, mobile wheelchair cart. It's got a hitch plate on it. Most of the back of your vehicle. Here's the steering geometry for the power wheels cart mounted with pipe hanger for gas sign that we'll, we'll use it for. Milwaukee battery, I've got a 3D printed uh, receiver and just wired it into the factory parts from the Barbie Jeep. It's got a high, low, reverse gear. It's upside down, so there's the same kind of deal. But high, low, reverse. Got it powered to the switch right here, so this turns it on. It goes pretty quick on high, low, and reverse if you need it. I usually keep it in lows about walking speed highs. You're kind of going to be jogging with it. This is a snow shovel handle. I drilled a hole, got a little clip pin, and I clipped that into the steering receiver. Works uh, not the best for steering, but it does steer. Put some nice pipe hanger on there. These go to each of the motors back here. Motors have their own reducing drivetrain built in from power wheels. Uh, the wheels are sufficient on the sand, but not the best. Um, I'll flip it over here in a minute and show you how it runs. But that's it upside down. A little easy to work on like a little table if you put the handle on there. This is the cart sitting on the ground. Man's gonna run it for us. The handle can burn either way. You got your battery, you can check gauges here. There's a fuse right there. Easy to access gear shifter and accelerator. That turns it off and on. Madden, go ahead and pull that thing and then start walking with it. One motor's working and one motor ain't. What is it going on here? Try it again. There you go. Walking speed does pretty good. All right, once you get out to the road, go this way. And then uh, push that button back in. There you go. Now go ahead and shift it into high gear there, Madden. And get ready to run with it. All right, and then pull and run. Look at it going now, boys. High power. This is a light jogging speed, no weight. All right, pair off here. Okay, now. Go ahead and pull it back towards me, spin it around. Don't use the power, just spin it. And so the turn and steering is not the best on this because the geometry is backwards on it, but it does work. All right, now we'll shift it, shift it here back into medium gear. Are you ready? And off we go. I don't know what the weight is. The weight on the power wheels it's 130, so we'll try it with Madden on here. So we're gonna put Madden here, be my test dummy. Go on, sit down on it so it's safe. And we'll see how it works with him. Thing Florida flies. Okay. Look at him going by himself. If I had the steering wheel on there, he could drive. <laughs> Turn it off. How much you weigh, Madden? 130 something. Okay, so we're pretty close to max weight but that's not including the wagon and still pushing them so that's pretty good total cost with the power wheels being free is probably i don't know 300 bucks there you go madden good job